anybody that's really in the weeds on the science of anti-gravity technology or gravity, you're not calling it anti-gravity because you start to realize that it's just a misunderstanding of the universe, that space is an empty and that we're in a medium. So it's not like we're calling it anti-gravity because it's not like gravity is this magical force that's pulling on us all the time. Gravity is just like our interpretation of this extra dimension that we're in. So if we can manipulate this, then we can cause propulsion to occur. And so I think the people that are smart, they'll call it gravitational manipulation because it's not as simple as just anti-gravity. But at the same time, gravity is just a pressure force, it's just pressure force. It's transmedium. They're transmedium because the plasma manipulation of gravity doesn't care about the medium because it's like a medium beyond the medium that we perceive. It's the underlying framework of reality. It's space time itself. This is how they can achieve hyper uh, hypersonic velocities um, is they use a plasma sheath. Plasma is the big secret to all of this. Plasma is nuclear physics. And so there's a connection to ufos they they do get the ufo people get this stuff right including dan farah when they say that there's this connection between ufos and nuclear weapons yeah they're one and the same thing we are seeing the nuclear weapons when we see plasma orbs flying around those are almost certainly our non-fission triggers in our thermonuclear weapons in fact we're going to go over that in just a few minutes here. And I'm old enough to remember when it was like, it was just the kooks who thought about this. And I just wanna say, I think if you don't think this is happening now, I'm not sure who the kook is, but I don't think it's me. Uh, I really don't. It, it used to be crazy people or people out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's not just the military people and the Defense Department people, but everybody. It's a, it's bipartisan. You see Schumer and Adam Schiff and La the senators and very, very serious people, the people with the buzz, cut, buzz cuts yeah. in the military, <laughs> talking about this and saying the kind of things that, that just cannot be explained. People need to push back. Is that Bill Maher in that clip? There, this is a serious issue. What is? What's the serious issue? Are the lobster people coming out from the ocean depths? When are we going to see one? When when does this become a serious issue for anybody in the real world? And what is it? Is it that it's aliens? Is it the technology? Like people need to be specific about what the issue is. Just saying there's something out there we don't know. If that's the case, then you don't know if it's a serious issue or not. Why is it a serious issue? That's how people, that's why, what people should be pushing back with. And when I replied on Twitter, that's how I replied. So first define to me what the issue is, because the reason why I say this is the military knows what these things are. You have to be so naive to think that the military doesn't know what UFOs are flying around and what they are, or at least have a really good idea of what they are. Stock is rising on the idea that UFOs are us from the future. That's probably the weirdest answer of every of all the possibilities. But stock is actually rising on that front because when we are talking about manipulating space time, we're literally talking about manipulating time. And even though I don't personally believe that we can go back in time based on my current understanding of physics, I'm willing to believe that I don't know it all. The whole reason why we're in this mess to begin with is we thought we understood everything about the universe and turns out we don't understand a major aspect of it. So for me to be like, yes, I know we can't go back in time. That's also probably pretty preemptive. We're pretty damn primitive at this point. Maybe we can eventually start sending signals back in time. Maybe it does create multiple timelines. And we don't perceive those multiple timelines. Um, and stock is r falling actually on teleportation. Although I still think it's teleportation in the MH370 videos. I do think that the stock is rising a little bit on the annihilation aspect. We're definitely looking at a thermonuclear weapon. The question is, what is it doing to the plane? Is the plane literally going somewhere else? Is it being spat out, spat out in a million different pieces? Is it being vaporized? That's the ultimate question of what's happening to it. We would have no chance against an alien race that has, let's just call it zero point energy technology to keep it simple, right? The difference between the aliens that have the zero point energy technology in humans is like the difference between a person fighting a blind person, a, a person of full capability flight, fighting a blind person. They're missing one of their senses. Unless you're daredevil, you have no chance. 
we're missing one of our senses. The sense that we are missing is the ether, is the extra dimension. They can communicate through an extra dimension faster than the speed of light, relativistically. You can't compete with that. They can make things disappear. You can't compete with somebody that understands an extra dimension that you don't perceive. <laughs> they can instantly appear and be invisible and do a lot of things that we would think would be magic if that's the case. What technology came from the UFOs? If there is technology came from the UFOs, and, I, and this stock is falling heavily on UFO explanation. It's not, it'll never be out of the realm of possibility, but it's falling heavily. Because I think you can build a very specific pattern of technological advancement that leads to what we saw in the MH370 videos without evoking aliens at all, without evoking any aliens whatsoever. The more you demystify the MH370 videos, the more obvious it becomes that this is our own secret weapons technology that's at least parallel with nuclear weapons, if not totally entwined with nuclear weapons. So what kind of what, what kind of technologies can how about everything if if they did transistors microchips what i imagine would have happened if we found alien technology this is how it would have gone down go ahead and get ready to clip this we find some alien technology what we find is like a piece of a craft we find this piece of a craft it looks like a piece of metal but it's shaped and you go, well, that doesn't look like a natural shape. So the next thing we do is we take it and we look at it under a microscope. We look at it under a microscope and we see something weird. When we go to look at the surface of this material, it's organized. It's in a pattern. It's in this very specific pattern all the way around. We don't understand why it's in a pattern. But when we look at it on the tiniest scales, we're seeing patterns along the surface of this material. And we go, wait a minute, there's no way this is random. There's no way this is a geological formation that made these microscopic patterns along this material. And we realize that somebody must have produced this. Something must have produced this. And then what we would have realized from that is, oh, we can do this. We can make microchips that are at the atomic scale, or at least close to it. Not yet, but we will be able to get to that point. And then it's just a matter of scaling that up. But you would realize there's no way, there's no human capability at the time when we were discovered that. Like, let's say Roswell was real in 1947. 1947, we didn't have the lithography to produce something, let alone a whole craft covered in that level of material manufacturing. That's what I would have imagined reverse engineering would look like. What you'd want to be looking for is you look at the surface of an object like that. And you look at it under a microscope and then you see the pattern. Like when you would look at a microchip, what that would look like. You're like, wait a minute. That doesn't look like a random surface pattern. That looks like something designed that. Why? Because the tiniest scales are where we begin to interact with a zero point energy. And that's how we build microchips. And what do you guys think microchips are? It's just certain elements put onto a very specific pattern on the very tiniest scales. And then scaling that up.